Hello and welcome back to Sponge Squad. My name is Matt Lees and this is uh, Sponge Squad. As I, as I said, it's a series about XCOM. Who are you? How did you get here? Anyway, thank you for joining us. It was pointed out to me last week that I forgot uh, in my efforts to shout out to all the dads. I didn't shout out to fat dads. So um, I'd like to just, just have a moment before we begin to have a special shout out to fat dads. Dads! Fat dads! Oh, dads! Fat dads! Oh, fat, fat dads! Fat dads, you're great. You are putting your fatherhood, presumably, first, and uh, not worrying about about yourself and vanity, and you're just, you're a good dad. So shout out to all the fat dads, but do be careful. You know, be fat, but be healthy. Make sure you're not at risk of diabetes or problems with your heart, because otherwise that's a, that makes you a bad dad. And you have kids. But that's true for everybody. Don't, don't drink so much Coca-Cola, guys. It'll probably kill you. Anyway, let's play some XCOM. So I'm going to make a radio relay here, and then also I'm going to bump up and go to New Mexico and make contact, because that's already taking up a slot, as somebody kindly pointed out. I don't mind people pointing out things that are related to just the base XCOM game that I know, or should know. Um, yeah, that's me just being an idiot. <sighs> Found the chip. And this is definitely a cutscene from the original game. Much of my own so, skip. <laughs> Objective added. Right. Okay. The advent officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted. Oh, injuries. Can this do anything special? Is this new? Oh, hyper vital. This looks new. I don't remember this. But I mean, just because I don't remember it, maybe that's. Though I was never witness to one oh. myself. Countless that's the way these guys wibble. The oh, that's the jiggle. Smaller, less intimidating. Oh, that's wrong. That's bad. Rapid physical evolution over the past twenty years. Psionics ready. Both the aliens' mastery of genetic engineering and their pursuit of advancement, regardless of the risks. Yeah, I don't remember if Psionics was this early as well. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. It's all just a fun time. Eleven days. Oh no, but that's quite good, isn't it? Hmm. I mean, I should probably get better weapons first. That's better weapons is probably a good idea. But no. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. No. Nah. Let's just the Advent Officer. Get it done. Three days. Three days is nothing. What's going on with this? The bond between these soldiers continues to grow. They can gain additional tactical strengths if they continue their training together. Wow. Guys. Let's get bonding. Yeah. Unavailable for combat for three days. Yeah. Fine. What's this gonna- oh my word. This is great. Sorry, I'm just reading here. This is this is this is bad video. Reading, drinking coffee. Bonus aim. Great. Fine. Automatically cleansed. Wicked. Oh, that's cool. I can have two sets. That's not a real sectoid. No one's gonna fall for that. Come on now. It's in three days, should have a bit of a bonanza here. Finish looking at a dead man. Finish doing cool training. Take it this was easier than your This guy looks like he's about to have a finger up the bum. I've seen this cutscene as well, because it's the first game. Uh yes, the skulljack. Um, a lovely invention. A thing that you punch into people's skulls to access the network. It's wonderfully, wonderfully unpleasant. I'm keeping tabs on all our operations, Commander. Our people are standing by for your orders. The Advent Captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates. I forgot just how much stuff there is in this. The Advent, although Advent clearly intended for these units to be their means of dealing with any unruly civilians within the city centers, Ooh. it seems they have come to rely on more brutal means of pacification in the time since. Nice. So this is... Interesting. Does it mean I can use... Yeah, I think it does. I think it means I can use um, the skirmishers' p 
pull thing to rip things out of their heads, which is very cool. Because actually, honestly, getting right next to people was a bit scary. I've got so many different things I could be doing here. I really should just do magnetic weapons, but I'm going to <laughs> I'm addicted to autopsies, just man. The word and I'll get started, Commander. Everyone likes autopsies. Let's have a little check of what I can build. Some nice stuff. Skirmisher upgrade, three alien alloys. So I'm basically I haven't got the stuff at the moment. Slim, but I'm hoping we find a few more recruits. Which is reasonable. Storage. I could The two soldiers we sent to the training center have developed an even stronger bond. If we continue mm. to send them out together in the field, their effectiveness will only grow. I will spread fear across this world. All will know what lies ahead. Our friends in the resistance are paying a heavy price with the Chosen running loose. We should do what we can to take them down before they hit again. Another important step forward in our research, despite a thorough analysis. I have yet to discover what, if any, advantage the Advent Hybrid Soldier's enormous eyes provide. Testing their visual acuity will no doubt prove difficult. I will send word as soon as we have something of note. Thanks, guys. Made us a house. Right, okay. So that's interesting. So basically these guys are getting... They're kind of messing me up, but every time they mess me up, I get a little bit closer to knowing about them, I guess, because they're leaving a trail. And then presumably I can try and do something about them. <laughs> I mean, you'd hope. Um, right. Build the resistance ring to begin. Operations. I've got so many things I need to build, is a thing. And uh, I'm kind of lacking engineers at the moment. These guys are really taking their time. Right, I think I'm going to do a mission. I know, right? Controversial. Um, all as tempting as it would be to just upload an hour of, of micromanagement. Although another engineer. Hmm... But the Advent Black site, it might be a good idea to just do that, get that done. Because this is just popping up. Oh, another engineer. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay. oh, okay. One engineer. I bet another mission's going to occur in between as well. Oh, I've got a bunch of alien alloys. So that's good. Okay, so I can do covert rings here. New ammo and armor, specialized tactical equipment. I'm gonna go for the resistance we ring. Pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Never mind. It's fine. I'll build some power in a minute. This old little juggle is always a, always a fun one. So, yeah. Come on, just give me the chance. Commander, we just got word oh. in an advent supply. Okay. We have an opportunity to salvage oh, no, good. the value materials, assuming we can clear out the alien forces guarding the site first. Okay, fine. Setting course for Sector 10, Eastern United States. Because I bring my base with me, it means I think I can buy an upgrade before I do this as well. Commander, you should be aware. We're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. Beautiful. That's... I mean... It's tempting to go for that, but at the same time... I don't want to spend all of my uh, resources here. Yeah, um, and but then I just have. I have just spent all of my resources. That's that's good. Um, what can I do here? Right, let's give my sniper a battle scanner. You've got to get serious with this stuff. I've actually upgraded my sniper so she gets to shoot back uh, with the pistol, which I figure with the plus one damage, the pistol is actually pretty tasty. Uh, and Mox, I got a thing as well where he can basically. Uh, Mox can, um, if he gets shot at, he gets an extra turn, 
which is pretty tasty. Oh, this person can't do anything. That's fine. Fine. Mm, actually, come on. Let's just give you one of these and give this guy a flashbang. Optional. Optional. All right, sweet. I think we're good to go, boys. <laughs> to X come land. And it's not a place. It's not a real thing. Advent forces are in the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area. And we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Locate and mark the crates with transponders. And Firebrand will handle the rest. I'm really loving the approach they've taken this to, uh to uh, mixing up all the missions. It feels like they kind of uh, kind of treat it a bit like a um a bit like a multiplayer kind of game, you know, of being like I am trusting you. adding new game modes, new maps, etc. Which in a way it kind of is. I mean, it's not a multiplayer game, but it has the same principle of being like, "Hey, this is something you're going to play again and again and again and again forever." I go where you tell me. Although I should point out, if you're, if you're watching this, that I've, I've heard from a bunch of people that the um, console ports for this game are very wonky and very prone to having kind of quite a lot of problems with major crashes. So, probably best on PC, to be honest. I think that's always been true of this, uh, this series. I seem to remember the first XCOM game. I played it on Xbox 360 and I lost count of how many times I had to restart the game because of bugs. But uh, it was so good that I didn't care, which is not really an excuse for the game and more um, an indictment of my own uh, strange personality. I'm wondering if this is going to be another let's deal with the lost jobby. And I'm playing this again, as I often do, quite fast and loose at the start. Without the introduction of human DNA, these creatures once operating under the guise of thin men now show their true form. Okay. A purely reptilian species. No reason for them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. Let's do this. I do like that. I've forgotten that. That the thin men are actually just snakes. And it makes sense because they'd have like snaky. They were snaky. Get some high ground for now. Okay, fine. I was um oh 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 yeah the lost. Okay, sure. Interesting. So this will be my first mission with the lost, which is not kind of a um not the word. Not scripted, I guess. I think I'm just going to do this. 85% seems pretty tight. Um, I guess the only thing I might change about that is just seeing if I can get some... Because I can basically storm this room afterwards. Lost. Is that going to trigger him? But it is. No, it's not. Okay, fine. And yeah, sure enough, that's lost with seven health, which already completely kind of messes with my uh, <laughs> messes with my system. So this is only if revealed. Yeah. Okay, fine. All right, Smokey, let's do this. Got to hope for a crit, but you can't cry when you don't get it. That guy's got bits on him. He's like a Rice Krispie nightmare. Okay, great. Well, that's 
absolutely ineffective uh, flanking position there. So that's that's good for me. Um. Might make it there. Moving there. This guy's a tough nut. Seven health. Actually, I suppose that's pretty much, pretty much the same as everyone else. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, I just want to kill this snake. Oh, I forgot about their dodging. He got a skill point for it though. Whoa, is it just these guys I got left? Oh boy, that's. Actually, not ideal. It's not ideal at all. Gotta say, this, uh... This, order, this green overlay is making it quite hard to see what's going on. Okay, no, it's just because it was. In the uh, in the dark. I found their patrol. Okay. And now is this character gonna get spotted out of the shadows? I am at your service. No. Chance to reveal hundred percent. Okay, let's not do that then. I'm a bit stressed now, actually. I kind of I've miscounted how many turns I have, and I've split up my group slightly, which is not ideal. And 52% is not good enough. It's a bit early for a flashbang, but at the same time, oh, this is going to flashbang my own dude, though, unless I can. Oh, hang on, no, of course it's it's literally positional. So it's I say it's positional. I mean it like. It correctly ignores, it correctly takes account of a uh, cover. Fifty-two percent. But it seems like a waste to use a grenade. A frag. But... Oh god damn it. Right, I'm just gonna take it. Let's see what happens. Nah, sure. No, I, that wasn't a good idea. But at the same time, I didn't really know what would be a better idea. Oh, right. Yeah. Consider yourselves lucky. Okay. Okay. Well, I got my Reaper with me at least. Die with honor. Oh, sorry, look at it. Bare minimum, I'll die. We just picked up the chosen assassin's energy signature. She's moving on the squad's position, Commander. Advent has already marked a couple of crates for extraction. If we move quickly, we may be able to mark them for ourselves yes. and prevent their airlift. Is that going to give him the extra turn? Yes, it is. Yeah, poison. I'm Surely he's gonna get. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. I was hoping that might happen. They fall just as they serve, without question. Nice. That's a good. That's a good load of things there. Asset in tow. Well, those guys are gonna attack each other. They better. Hang on a minute. That that character just revealed and nothing's happening apart from those guys. That would be annoying. Because in terms of what's been established, these guys are supposed to fight each other. Whatever. 
Whenever you presume to strike, I will be watching and waiting. Okay. How many turns have I got till these get grabbed? Chance to reveal. Oh man, it says that basically revealing where this person is. It's proper in for a penny, in for a pound stuff, let's be honest. Remote start that. I really love the remote start thing. Very cool. Just be like, oh yeah, that thing? That's getting blown up. I mean, I can re reveal myself, is the thing. Oh, is that going to reveal me as well? My training fails me. Yep. Okay. We are known to them. Good work. And that's the end of that person's turn because I keep forgetting that you can't do two things. All right. Okay. Let's go for the big numbers on the big boys. Seven, but 99. I mean, it's going to end the turn, but <sighs> she can get a reload for free, though. Now nah, I'm going to do it. It's not ideal, but at the same time, it's not terrible. I can handle that. They really, need, uh, they really better attack each other. Though. If, they, if these guys aren't going to attack each other, I'm going to be in quite a lot of trouble. Okay, yeah, eighty percent. That's good. Eighty-six percent. I thought it was. Okay, wicked. And that's a freebie as well. I mean, I'll try this. I'll try this one as well. Nice. All right, everything's fine. Did you see that one? Negative ammo. Spent. It's killing time. Can't beat a free reload after a shot. In the world of XCOM, that's that's pretty tasty. Okay. Order. Yeah. My lungs burn. I don't think there's any way out of that. You seek to punish the elders for your very birth. Your creation at their hands. What a strange complaint it must be for you. Oh. Service is over. Soon to be out of ammunition. You know, I'm having fun with this, but at the same time, I am deeply worried about my um, what's it called the the ranger lady all on her own. I mean, I've taken out the uh, I've taken out part of these people, but that is not a good position to be in at all. These guys. Oh, but hang on, it looks it looks like I have confirmed that box to be ours at least by revealing myself. I guess I mean it makes sense. Like you're you're calling a drop down, you're putting a flare down, you can't really do that covertly. Overwatch with a shotgun is not. Are they getting the box now? Already? Fair enough. Ben just there lifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to get the rest. Yeah, I mean that was not my best choice. I get him next time. Okay, cool. That's good. Because if these guys weren't gonna shoot each other, trouble. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no! My poor boy, you poor boy! Oh, lost swarms. Ah, oh, poor boy. Oh no, oh no. Alright, the lost don't seem incredibly dangerous then. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Unless. Mark in those crates, mm. Menace 1 5. Come on, Mox. Yeah, good. I was going to say, you know, just pull yourself out of it, son. Moving to designated coordinates. Locked and loaded. That's not good. Oh, flip sticks. <sighs> that was a really bad move. I should have moved and then shot. I keep forgetting they don't have... Some of them have, like... I keep forgetting that they're, like, they're not all useless, basically. Aid right. Useful aid. This is where I get a bit stupid. But I think sometimes you've got to speculate. So I don't want to do that because I don't want to kill that guy. I do want to kill this guy. And this is a ripjack as well. You know, I'm going to ripjack it because it's cool. I can't remember if we get some sort of bonus for hacking. Also, I want to see if it does the hang thing. Which it might not. No, maybe it just... I think it just does more damage. Fine. <coughs> okay. Who went first? I think it was the bad guys. So basically... If I do this, there's a chance that he might he might shoot this bad guy. <laughs> but he could shoot me. But it's a height difference, so... You know, I'm going to take a punt on this. And I'm going to hope that this guy... Um, remembers... That I, I just saved his life. I move. I mean, I'm worried that this guy, this skirmisher, is going to end up dead purely because I am kind of playing him as if he is actually Worf at the moment. And um, the crucial reality of XCOM is no one is Worf. And no one is... no one is Worf. On the move. Please don't... Spawn a swarm on my sniper. <laughs> okay, that's guys. I can do that. They're moving as quickly as they can to get those crates. If we want our share, we'll have to move just as fast. You, you git. I just. For some, the pain would be oh, come on. Oh, that's bad. She's dead, isn't she? Enjoy these fleeting breaths while they last. The elders propose an exchange. Your lives, your resistance must end. And in return, this world is mine. I will require your return to captivity, Commander. Consider yourself lucky. You won't suffer long by my hand. That's not a good deal. It's one of the elders chosen. Oh, sugar buns. I mean, what? Where did that come from? Was that in the back of that van? Oh, come on. I won't last long at this rate. Oh, my gosh. This Don't just got Get him back up ASAP. absolutely amazingly bad. I don't really know if I can even save this character. I mean, 
the only person who can save this character now is is Mox. And even then, that's I don't know. Let's see who can actually. <laughs> A lot of choices here. A lot of choices. Sixty-four percent. I mean, I've got to give it a go, haven't I? Oh my they live good no lord. Alright. So, do three to four damage, no chance of a crit, but if I kill one, I can reload, which is for this guy a pretty big deal. So that's what I've got to do. Take that, use the free action, reload your gun. Hope these guys can't climb ladders. Um, Smoky Pancakes on her own here, it's not a good place to be, if I'm honest. But I think I need every shot I can get. That's really not what I needed there. Adjusting aim. Okay. Four to six, ninety percent. Let's see what I got. That's about as high as it gets. And I could pull back, but then I'm gonna lose that percentage. Okay, right, yeah. Every now and then, you've just got to have a little bit of faith that the numbers are actually on your side. Which they are, in fact. A lot of the numbers in XCOM are fudged. To the benefit of the player, especially on this difficulty. Which I'm fine with. I'm absolutely fine with. Yet? Toss me some ammo. You know, no. Uh, they are not enough. Um... I need to get... I don't think anyone here has a med kit. Which is not good. Let's get some better cover. Problem, boss. And reload. I'm ready. I'm bricking it. I'm bricking it now. I'm, I'm not... I'm not gonna lie. You better not run over here and shoot. Okay, fine. Good. Because that would be a real dick move. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Oh, come on. This one certainly seems to know the inevitable truth. My people will never surrender. What are you doing? I've already learned so much about your plan. This won't take nearly as long as I had envisioned. Well, that's sounds fortunately the chosen bad what they were after. More information they can use to track you down, Commander. All right. Fine. I mean, actually, right now that that doesn't seem good, but at the same time, I'm just quite pleased that they <laughs> she's gone because um No, I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm just not <laughs> Why can't I do that? Why can't I? Oh, it's because I'm flanked. All right, fine. My life is in your hands. This is stupid when I'm doing it, by the way. But, um, I'm greedy and I wanted that crate. <laughs> um,. But that's XCOM. That's that really is is XCOM. You push your luck, you see what you can get, and then it goes really badly. Sixty-seven percent. Well, I'm less afeard now about my sniper. Yeah. Enemies down. 
just because, well, yeah, the bad people have gone away now, which is great. Let's get some height. Those chosen. I'll tell you what, actually, it's like the, the interesting thing that makes me scared about them is, is not really actually the health bar and thing. It's the fact that every time, I've, I mean, I just get the sense that, like, what are you going to do? Like, I didn't know what that move was. I'm like, is it going to do a damage? Because that's all it would have taken. Um, yeah, it's just, it kind of frightens me a little bit. And I've only seen one of three, and actually I was like, oh, there's only three of them. Well, it's kind of a, there's part of me a bit disappointed by that, because I was like, oh, I hope there'd be, you know, eight. But, um... You know, I'm not especially worried about these guys. That crate, I think there's nothing I can do about that. Oh, should I just kill these guys? I mean, it would be sensible. Look, you can't get to that crate. We'll just kill these guys. I mean, this will be satisfying. That's only three hours. Okay, I'm done. Great. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Excellent work. Oh, Status no, actually, I chose knowledge is not. Excellent work. All right. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Thanks, Cat Central. Excellent work. Status confirmed. Yep. Mission accomplished. Excellent it was excellent work, wasn't it? Yeah, that's... About us, Commander. If they keep this up, they'll eventually be able to find the Avenger. Oh, that seems really bad. Then before that happens. Right, and it's already halfway there. Wow. That seems incredibly, incredibly bad. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I, I I thought everything was all right, but actually, um, um, actually no, it's it's not all right. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, now I'm just gonna quietly have fun with with. Uh, with image image manipulation to hide the fact that I'm 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 absolutely terrified. I'm in trouble. Uh, this is bad. Okay. Pretty sure I saw that on an album cover decades ago. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. Now you're getting confused with we're in trouble. Someone's come along, gonna burst our bubble. Classic, classic pop music of the times before XCOM was required, when the worst thing the world faced was was milk toast pop music, and I guess Tony Blair. Therapy will not be undone by the reckless actions of a few misguided. Oh, speaker, just Jeff off, will you? Just Jeff off. I'm having a bad day. I'm having a bad day. I thought that bar was the knowledge I had about about them. I was like, when it fills up soldiers from whatever it is the chosen are doing to them in the field. I really hope there is. Um because gravely or gravely woundy. Gravely woundy or ravely wounded. Um please choose your pick. Okay, that's Well guys, look. I just wanna say let's be positive about this. Nobody's dead. <laughs> Uh, even if if you are out of out of it for literally a month, um, but when you come back, you'll be able to um, do something. I mean, something. Great. This is okay. All right. Well, um, that's. I think I'm gonna look through this quietly myself, and it's a slight, maybe a slightly shorter episode than usual this time. But uh, Mr. Quentin Smith has shut up and sit down and is about to arrive at my house to do some filming, so uh, I've got to stop. But thank you so much for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll be back next week for more Sponge Squad. Goodbye. 
Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to go to coolghost.net and uh, leave a message, we will have some more cool ghost stuff coming back proper. I'm just off to Canada for our first ever convention, a board game convention that we're running, which is actually insane and frightening. But then we have got some pretty cool stuff in the pipeline that I hope people who like video games will like. Anyway, see you soon. Goodbye.